The plants pictured here are portulaca, or purslane, also called moss rose. Portulaca is a ground cover when it's grown in the landscape, getting less than a foot tall, but it can spread and fill in an area quite nicely. The form of portulaca is procumbent, meaning that it grows flat on the ground without the stems producing any roots. And it may also be decumbent, which means that the branches grow along the ground and the stems curve up at the tips. When grown in a container, portulaca can be a nice filler or spiller. The plant in this photo is a cultivar of portulaca umbraticola, which has elliptic to oval, sessile, succulent leaves up to one and a half inches long that tend to cluster at the ends of the stems or at the stem joints. The leaves can be alternate or opposite and will also take on that reddish tinge along the margins uh, when they get in full sun. Some species of portulaca can be a weed in some parts of the country, but most people growing it in the garden or in containers are growing cultivars that have been bred for larger, showy flowers in a variety of colors and the carotenoid pigments. As a side note, this species, Portulaca umbraticola, is often sold under the name of Portulaca oleracea since the two look very similar. Portulaca oleracea grows as a weed in some parts of the U.S. Here we have Portulaca grandiflora, which is popular for its large flowers, as the specific epithet suggests. The growth habit is similar to Portulaca umbraticola, but the leaves are a little smaller, up to an inch long, they're more linear, and they're in whorled clusters, although they may be alternately arranged as well. Portulaca flowers have five heart-shaped petals and are typically around one inch across, although they may be larger, especially the cultivars and hybrids of Portulaca grandiflora. They can be single, like the flower pictured here, or they can be double or semi-double. The flowers are interesting because they close at night and on cloudy days as well. Grow portulaca in full sun or bright direct light and in very well-drained soil. It can get invasive or weedy in some areas, so you may need to remove the spent blooms to prevent it from self-seeding if you're growing it outside. And this concludes our discussion of portulaca, also known as purslane or moss rose.